BBC's Laura Kunzberg says the railway RMT strike could have a domino effect and shut down more industries. Boris Johnson's government is gearing up for a potential summer of discontent, with industries following the RMT's rail strike amid skyrocketing inflation and wages not keeping up with soaring food and energy prices. BBC's political reporter Laura Kunzberg has warned. After the criminal barristers, she argues teachers and medics could follow their lead and grind the cut. Dot. Speaking to BBC Newscast, Ms. Kunzberg said, Ultimately, this is going to feel like a big event for millions of people who are going to have their lives disrupted in the next few days. And crucially also, there's no end in sight to this. You know, there's a lot of chat pointing to this may be happening again, and again and again. And the really big problem looming for the government is that the rail industry might be just the start. So, today everyone will have heard the news about some criminal barristers going on strike. What about teachers? Because the overall context is this clash, the real crunch between people being able to make ends meet in a time of such soaring inflation and the public sector particularly's reluctance to pay people more. Ms. Kunzberg's remarks come as the country is grappling with a nationwide train strike due to take place on Thursday and Saturday, with disruption expected on non-strike days. It is reportedly the biggest strike in 30 years. Talks reached a stalemate on Monday, as the RMT Rail Union and the Network Rail's employers failed to find a compromise on the 7% pay rise demanded by the union, which outright rejected the employer's 2% offer. The RMT boss Mick Lynch blamed Boris Johnson's government's dead hand for the stalemate. What we've come to understand is the dead hand of this Tory government is all over this dispute and the fingerprints of Grant Shapps and the DNA of Chancellor, Rishi Sunak.